What are data tables and why do we use it in our Flutter flow? What's the need of data tables in our Flutter flow? Hi, I'm Gaurav from KnowHow Academy. So as we know, we query a list of data and display it in our list view widget in Flutter flow. But do you know there is another widget in our Flutter flow that is used to display list of data. Now you have a question that why I am discussing about this widget in this video. So let me tell you, you will be wondering that when we have list view widget, why we are going to use another widget for displaying our list of data. So let me tell you, this widget is known as data table. And the reason that we use data table is because it has a grid format and displays a lot of data in the tabular form. Yes, the data table is used to display a huge amount of data that contains number of columns, which is very different from our list view. So before going further in our data table, let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video. In this video, we are going to use our data table to display our list of data. Also, we are going to use date filters in our Zeno to filter the data according to the dates. And we are going to create a dropdown to filter the data present in our data table. So first, in our screen, as I have changed my screen to the desktop version, and here in my container, I will simply add a data table here. Now, as you can see in my data table, currently, it has three sample headers and two records. And here I am getting an error that the data table rows must be generated dynamically. To generate dynamic children, we need to go to our Zeno and add our API. Now, in my database, I will go to my API. And here in my customer API, I have this get customers. So I will click on run here. And after clicking on run, I am getting these response. Now I will copy my endpoint URL. And here in my Zeno, I will paste this URL. Then I will test my API call. So in my test response, we have gotten our data. Now I will click on add JSON path and I will name it result JSON. After clicking on add call, I will go to my home page, create a variable named result. And it will be of type JSON and list after clicking confirm I will just go to my data table and here in my dynamic children I will select the page state result JSON and I will name it customer customer and save so our error has been resolved here now I will display in my database I have these fields so I will display first name last name company city and subscription date so there are five column so i will go to my flutter flow and here in my data table i can increase the column number and i will write here five now in the header i will name the first one which will be our first name Second will be our last name. Third will be our company. Fourth will be our city. And last one will be our subscription date. So we have added our headers. Now in my rows here. I will just write the JSON path and here our JSON path will be here first name so I will simply copy here and paste here first name same our last name will be last name dollar dot last name company 
will be our company and city will be dollar dot city and fifth one will be our subscription date so i will write dot and here in my response i will copy subscription date and paste it here now we have added our data table json items so we need to populate our json list so i will go to on page load action and here i will write api call which will be customers and in my response will be customer response this will be our output variable and when our response is succeeded i will write update page state result json set value which will be action output json body predefined path result json and confirm so simply we have added this here now i need to test my data table so i will go here so as you can see our data is being populated here but we haven't given it a good height so we need to increase the height of our container so i will just remove this and give it a height of 800 and click on instant reload so we are getting our response in our data table now we have this column named subscription date so what if i want to filter my data according to this subscription date so for that first i in my container i will add a drop down drop down wrap in column and my drop down will be on top and I will add the item spacing of 20 my drop down will be left align and I will give it a border radius and border color will be primary text border radius will be 20 now in my drop down I will write the hint text select date and in my options I will write here first option will be today yesterday last last seven days next seven days tomorrow or we can just cut this and paste here so it will be perfect and the last option will be our all initial value will be all so we have added our options in our drop down now we need to configure our api so i will go to my customers here now to add our date filter we will just add an input first which will be of type name date and i will add a function first i will take a condition if our date input is equal to all check and save so if our input date is equal to all then it will return all the records in my customer without any filter now here i will take another condition in our else which will be date equal to today or date equal to yesterday
और डेट इक्वल टू टुमारो सेव सो इन दिस कंडीशन इफ आवर इनपुट डेट विल बी टुडे और यस्टरडे और टुमारो देन आई विल जस्ट क्लोन दिस वन मूव इट इन आवर देन and here we need to add our filter by custom query conditional action and here our subscription date should be equal to our input date and see now in our else i will write another if condition and here i will write if date is equal to last 7 days then again i will query record so i will clone this and paste it here and now i will just select greater than equal to input date and subscription date should be less than now and confirm and in our else again i will take an if condition here our input date is equal to next 7 days save then i will query record so i will clone this and paste here and in my query it will be greater than now and our subscription dot date should be greater than and less than equal to our date after clicking save and publish now first we will check our database here now we have our records which contain tomorrow 2024 today is 6 so i will take 12 and apply so we have these records now if we test our api here so if i write all and click on run and here i am getting all the records here now if i write today and click on run so here is our record which have the subscription date of today only similarly if i write yesterday and click on run here so we don't have any record which have subscription date of yesterday so we need to check here in our database so we cannot find any here now if i click on this record and if i write 5 and click on apply then and click on run so we have our record here as we have in our database of date 10 so we will simply add another if condition if our date is equal to next days then clicking on save i will click here clone and in our query all record i will simply delete, delete this one and here i will write greater than equal to now now when i click on next days so we have our record which are greater than our now or we can simply call it upcoming days after clicking on publish we just need to go back to our api and here in our customers we need to add our parameter which is date from value which will be type string and here i will write all and click on test so it's working perfectly after clicking save we need to go back to our page on load action we need to add our variable because if we don't it will display empty data after that we need to go to our drop down and here on selected i will call my api 
and I will select customers and in the date we will add widget state which will be drop down now I will name it date filter after succeed I will click on add action update page state and this time our result value will be action output the date filter json body predefined path and result json after clicking confirm as we have our options here i will add another option it will be next days and the last one will be our all so now we'll click on instant reload to test our date filter now as you can see we have selected all and we are getting all the data here now if i select here today so we are getting the data of today only same if we select yesterday we are getting yesterday tomorrow for tomorrow and next days contains the date after tomorrow so this is how we use date filters to display and filter our data in the data table data tables is used to organize the data in a tabular format which looks a little better than in our list view also in our data table properties we can add dividers too and add the divider color also if i click on instant reload we can see our dividers in our test mode so in this video we learned how to use and implement data table in our flutter flow we created an api in xeno to filter the data according to the dates with the help of if conditions then we created a drop down to filter the data in our data table thank you for choosing knowhow academy as your it source we are always there to help you navigate to the tech world it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you so stay curious and keep learning.